Okay, Dan Wright says, hey, Jim, can you give us the dirt on Tammy Sitch, a.k.a. Okay. Sonny? You gave her a first break in SMW and worked with her the, then in WWF. Are there, are there stories about her drug use and cheating on Chris True? Which wrestlers did she screw around with in Smoky Mountain? Which wrestlers did she screw around with in WWF? Doesn't everybody know this shit already? Hey, did Chris know about any of this? Um, what were her and Chris like as a couple? Was she telling the truth about her nine-month relationship with Shawn Michaels? Why was she let go by WWF? What are your thoughts of her posing nude on Missy Hyatt's website? So take a sunny moment. Jesus Christ. Um, you know, and once again, Tammy is a very good friend of mine. And I'm not going to come out here and, and fucking, you know, say, oh, she did this and she did that. When she and Chris came to Smoky Mountain Wrestling to Knoxville, I'd met them when they were working for Dennis Corluzzo. She was like 16. Chris was 17 or 18. And I always thought they, that Chris was very talented. And, and when he told me that she wanted to get into business as well, I thought she was attractive and I thought they'd make a good pair. And that's how I was able to bring them to Knoxville because I couldn't pay him or her individually enough money to justify both of them moving down there. But if they were both working, they could mm -hmm. get by. And it was very good. I, when, when Tammy first got to Knoxville, she wouldn't drink a beer. She didn't do any type of drugs. She and Chris were a great couple. Uh, Tammy, as I've said many times, and I'll say it right to you, Tammy, you're a bitch. You're a fucking cunt. And that's what I love about you. And, I lo and she loves that about herself. She, she was able to be a heel. And she was fun, and she was smart, and she could do a great promo, and she had a photographic memory, and she looked good, and I never had any problem with them coming to the towns and coming on time or coming early. And when I say she's a bitch, I say that in a loving way because she has that air about her that she's going to get her way and et cetera, and that's what made her an, an, a, an interesting wrestling personality. Uh, so anyway, as far as when she was in Knoxville, she wasn't taking any drugs and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not going to get into her and Chris's relationship because he was a good friend of mine and he's passed away and she's a friend of mine and she's still here and I'm not going to speculate or comment, but I will say that everybody knows that she had problems when she was in the WWF and when she was released from the WWF and part of that comes from uh, if it can happen to her, it can happen to anybody because she was in a territory in a kind of a developmental program where she loved the business, knew it, was around it and still when she became the most downloaded celebrity on the internet and the first true WWF diva and a worldwide star on television, she got a little snotty and, and was a little hard to deal with and she knows this and she also did some things that she probably wouldn't do again because she was a young person all of a sudden making a ton of money. And she got by that and she cleaned up her act and she's still young and she looks great. And I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to fault her for for anything she's done in the past because she was smart enough to know that she needed to make a change.